customer support. This is a biggie, and it's something that you need to build into your business long term. Okay, you, it's not just supporting customers, you know, 48 hours into the launch and then you forget about them forever. These are people who bought from you, and don't take. I, I don't care if it was five dollars or five hundred, like I said earlier. This is somebody who has uh, invested in a product that you've created or a service that you created. That is, you know, that requires trust. Do not abuse that trust. Support. And make sure you have a support address very clearly defined. I like to put one on my sales page, on my download page. I like to put it inside of the download, as I mentioned earlier in that welcome video. I'll tell them exactly how they can get support um, and make sure that they can get a hold of you easily. Now, you might DIY your support, do it yourself. Um, I still do a, a degree of my support myself, depending on the business unit. Uh, I don't do all of it myself. For some of them, I do. Um, I definitely like to hire and outsource my support as well, and you want to do that more and more and more, but you want to make sure that either way, or if it's both, that the quality and the standards are there. Every single customer is important. Um, you know, Obviously, you, if customers are being problematic or they're being rude, uh, despite your best intentions, that's different. And uh, you, you're going to get that. Trust me, I get that too. Uh, I put a lot of time and care into our building our customer support system. There's still some people that don't appreciate it, the efforts. That's okay. You're not going to please everybody. And don't be afraid to put those customers in their place if they need it. Um, you know, you this is your own business and you don't have to take crap from people that are disrespecting you. But you do want to make sure you take care of your buyers and if their questions are uh, are legitimate or if their problems in your product, solve them. Deal with those things and use it as an opportunity, which kind of takes me to my next point here. Embrace questions or problems or reports to your help desk of something not working. Look at those things. Read them. You're getting valuable feedback about your business. You're getting feedback that tells you what you can do to improve this product. Imagine, you know, you get three or four requests from customers saying, I didn't understand this, this, and this, and you go and fix it. And then you mail everybody saying, hey, there were some problems. Here's what they were. We fixed them. Here's a new download that will replace all of that. And it'll be a lot easier for you. People will appreciate that. They see you're going above and beyond and you weren't just in it for the quick win on the front end. You're in it for the long run to take care of them because you're customers. Um, mistakes are opportunities. I, we've made plenty of mistakes. We've had, we, we you know, our business is called Best Quality PLR. We've had PLR products that didn't meet the quality standards that they should have. You know, for one reason or another, we didn't edit them properly or we were just in a little bit too much of a rush. We made a mistake uh, and people called us out on those. And I, and I took that. I just said, you know what? You're right. I didn't try to defend myself. I, I apologize. I owned up to it. I said, you're right. This is this is poor quality. We should not have released it. It's our mistake. Uh, please accept our apologies. Let us fix it. And honestly, 99 times out of 100, people are very grateful that you do it. And they're understanding because you're owning up to it. You're being honest. You're being a real person. They, they make mistakes too. So they're, they're going to be forgiving as long as you correct the problem. Uh, I, I grew my, when I was in the corporate world, I grew my, my career by doing that, I would go in and do these consulting gigs where I had no business being in there consulting. I didn't really have the experience and I would mess things up and customers would be annoyed and mad, but I wouldn't go home. I would I would work on these things until I fixed the problem. And now I knew how to fix these problems and the customers were thrilled. They, were like, they couldn't believe that I would spend all this extra time there solving the problem. Now I had a, you know, a customer for life and that's how you build long-term uh, reputation with your clients. Turn your mistakes into opportunities. Don't be afraid of making them. You're going to make them. So just make sure you do right by your customers once you realize you've done, you've done something wrong. 